What's going on? Welcome back to 100% NUFC. So it's match preview time. It's Newcastle United versus Manchester City at St James's Park this Tuesday. It's an 8 o'clock kickoff. One of the biggest games of the season. One of the hardest games of the season. We're up against a really good Manchester City side who are challenging Liverpool for the Premier League title. It's all hotting up this season. And it's going to be a long old night for us after we got beat by Watford at home in the FA Cup. Just before I jump into the preview... Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to try and hit 1,700 subscribers. The aim is to hit 2,000 by the end of the season. And if you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. I don't normally set a like target, but if we can hit 15 likes, that would be amazing. And if you enjoy the content and you enjoy this video, don't forget to put your comments in down below. So, we take on Manchester City. Let's look at Manchester City first before we look at Newcastle. Man City are on unbelievable form at the moment. They had a bit of a lull around Christmas time where they were dropping points and City went ahead of them. But ever since, you know, they dropped a couple of points here and there against you know, Leicester. They've picked up where they left off at the start of the season and they're scoring goals for fun. They're a scary team to play against with their quality. And the last game that Manchester City played was in the FA Cup. They dispatched Burnley 5-0 in front of the home crowd. And before that, they knocked Burton out of the Carabao Cup semi-final to progress to the final of that competition beating them 1-0 at the Pirelli Stadium. Burton give a good account of themselves, but they lost 10-0 overall on aggregate after they'd lost 9-0 in the first leg. And before that, they'd beaten Huddersfield by three goals to nil away from home at the John Smith Stadium. So in those three games alone, they've scored nine goals. That's a lot of goals, and only Newcastle fans of ourselves could dream of scoring the amount of goals that they have. Manchester City have got a world-class team. I've said this in many videos, many previews when I've... Uh, went to talk about Manchester City. And, you know, we can't discard them for the Premier League title this season, even though Liverpool have got a seven-point gap at the moment, or a four-point gap. And if they were to get a result on Tuesday night, they can cut that to one point. Then Liverpool, you know, will have to get a result against Leicester City the day after. So it's all in Man City's court, really, against us on Tuesday. Man City, we can't underestimate their quality. You know, they've got something like two or three first-teamers, Squads that they can make, you know, we've got one basic squad, which is is it good enough to stay in the Premier League? Well, time will tell between now and the end of the season. The points tally tells were different. Man City, unbelievable. I mean, players to watch out for. Jesus, Brazilian striker, scores goals for fun. He's always peeing off his last man. Very tricky customer. Sergio Aguero, another one who we all know about. Scored over 100 Premier League goals for Manchester City. The two Silvers, Bernardo Silva and David Silva. They've got Kevin De Bruyne. I could go on and on. Man City's team is unbelievable. I mean, you've got to look at the two wingers. Riyad Mahrez, who are the same from Leicester, scoring goals. You've got Raheem Sterling there, scoring goals. They've got an unbelievable team. And I mean, you've even got to look at the back four. You know, they're, they're very well drilled. They're a team who they don't let you, you know, get get in behind them. They're a solid team. They let you keep possession under Pep Guardiola. Man City are a hard team to break down, and you, you're not going to get many chances whether you play them home or away. They're always going to have the ball. They're always going to frustrate you, and we've got to try and find a way of breaking them down, which is something we've struggled with all season. I mean, look at the goalkeeper Edison, who the ball from Benfica. You know what a top quality sign he was. I mean, I've known him from his Benfica days because I watched a lot of Portuguese football and I always believed that one day he would get into the Premier League and he played for one of the top sides in Manchester City. He got that move and he won the Premier League with him last season because he's a top quality goalkeeper. Solid. He's got a good brain about him. He's got good distribution and he's somebody who, you know, he likes to spread himself and you know, if you go one-on-one, -on -one, nine times at ten, he's going to save it and Man City, you know, look, some of the players that I haven't mentioned, such as Sonny, you know, they can bring players off the bench and they've got Phil Foden. You know, a young lad who potentially would probably get a move away from Manchester City to play regular football. He's a really good footballer. You know, someone who, a bit like Jesus, young lad, pacey, he likes to get in behind the back four. Someone who, you know, likes to create an opportunity. And Man City, like I say, they've got three or four first teams there that they can build, build around, you know, and we've only got that one. And it just goes to show the gulf and class between what we have and what Manchester City have. And that could have been us, you know, back in 2009-10 when the, you know, the owners... If Manchester City wanted to take over Newcastle, or should I say it back in 2007-2008? And Mike Ashley said no. He's had numerous offers, you know, for the club, and he said no. And this is why we're on a, you know, a downward spiral. I remember 
Manchester City used to be on the same wavelength as Newcastle used to be in the middle of the table. Now look where they are. You know, a bit of investment. You know, they're climbing high in the league, doing well for themselves, and fair play to them. You know, they've built a complex of you know of excellence. You know, you you got to look at the the academy. Everywhere on Manchester City is amazing, and that could have been us. Anyway, let's look at Newcastle. So you know, we come off the back of a two 0 defeat at Watford. Very disappointing. You know, Rafa Benitez dropped some really big players for that game. Uh, but I'd like to see Rondon come back. You know, for Hostler, he was, he was useless against Watford. I mean, I don't know why he's still here. I said that in the match review against Watford. He's simply not good enough. He's not someone who's really going to work hard. Whereas Rondon, yes, he's not the paciest, but he's got you know that know-how. He's got that brain. You know, when a ball comes into the box, nine times out of ten, he's going to stick his head in it and he's going to create an opportunity. You know, he's very strong, solid. He likes to keep a hold of the ball and he'll create the odd chance, you know, if the ball gets fed to him. You know, Perez for me should start. Richie, Kennedy... Even though he didn't have his best game against Watford, Hayden, that would be my midfielder. I would have to say, Sean Longstaff alongside and give him his opportunity. But the quicker Shelby and Diaby come back, the better. You know, we need experience. You know, the, the back four, you'd have to say, Paul, well, I would say Paul Dubber, he's, he's probably still injured. You'd have to say, Shaw, Lascelles, Keevan Clark, Mankio, in goal, Martin Dubravka. So that, that's probably what the team's going to look like, but Rafa will probably change it. But like I say, it's going to be a long night for us. I don't expect we'll get anything against Manchester City. You know, we're, we've struggled. You know, of late. The only bit of confidence I can give, yes, would be Cardiff three 0 But we'll have to get a result against Cardiff. You know, they're in the relegation battle with us. And if we couldn't beat Cardiff, then who can we beat this season? You know, that's the that's the line problem of, of us this season. Are we going to sign anybody this January? Probably not. You know, we're a thin bear squad, and I'm expecting a hammering. You know, on Saturday, on Tuesday, I'm expecting Man City to have a lot of possession probably 70% plus possession. It's all about shutting them off, and if we could do that, it would be great. But Man City are chasing Liverpool down, and if Man City don't get a result against us on Tuesday night, then they can wait for bye to the title, because if Liverpool were to get a result against Leicester, they've most likely won the league, because the points gap would then be bigger uh, than what it should be. But like I say, we've got nothing to lose, I suppose. You know, We're not favourites to win the game. The best we can hope for is a draw. We need to keep the goal difference down. But let's be real, we're probably going to get hammered. You know, they're a good squad and they could score at any moment. We haven't exactly got the best record against Manchester City, head-to-head wise. The last time that we beat Man City was in the League Cup back in 2014 under Alan Pardew at the Etihad Stadium, funny enough. So 2-0, that was good, but we've never beaten them in the Premier League in a long, long, long time. Uh, the last time uh, we played Manchester City was back at the start of the season at the Etihad. We lost by two goals to one. I remember Man City took the lead, but we got back into the game 1-1. But then because Man City have got quality... You know, they went out to win the game 2-1. But I'm hoping it is such a tight scoreline. I mean, if we walk out St. James's Park losing 2-1, I'd take it. It's all about keeping, you know, the goals down. But, like I say, tough game on Tuesday. I don't think anybody from a Newcastle side is expecting to win unless you're deluded. Score prediction. I'm going to go 4-1 to Manchester City. I'd like to think we can get a goal from somewhere just to give the, the, the crowd a bit of, a bit of oomph. Give the squad a bit of confidence going into the Tottenham game on Saturday. They're not exactly in their best of confidence either, but there we go. We'll talk about that uh, later down the line this week. Yeah, 4-1 Newcastle. You let me know your score predictions for this game. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all later. How are the lads?